Hello, so today we are going to discuss uh, a new inclusion for A level syllabus in 2020-22-2022 that is regarding the Malice's Law. This was not so uh, the learning outcome says that understand that polarization is a phenomenon associated with transverse waves and the second part says recall and use Malice's Law i equals i naught cos squared theta to calculate the intensity of a plane polarized electromagnetic wave after transmission through a polarizing filter or a series of polarizing filters so we are expected to do calculations from two three or four polarizing filters so let's start so polarization definition first so what is polarization the process to confine the process to confine a wave <coughs> to pass through in one plane only is called polarization There are some notes. Only transverse waves can be polarized. Longitudinal waves. cannot be polarized and point number three is that if we have a vertical plane polarized wave and we have a vertical filter polar polarized filter it would pass through it and if we have a vertical plane vertical polarized and we have a horizontal filter it would block the vertical filter an unpolarized wave is some wave which is not which have not passed through any sort of polar filter so now let's move on to the formula the formula for Malice's law is I equals I naught cos square theta. Let's see the proof. I assume <coughs> I have a filter which is vertically, which have a slit which is vertical and I have a wave incoming to it which is at an angle theta just like this in this direction so this would be my wave and this would be my angle of axis of the polaroid so this is our angle theta if I assume that this wave has amplitude a naught so this wave has amplitude a naught so this component along the axis of the polaroid would be a naught cos theta so my outcoming 
wave after passing through the filter would be in this direction and would have amplitude a naught cos theta so what i can say is that amplitude of the outcoming wave is a naught cos theta if we have already seen in waves that intensity is directly proportional to amplitude square so what we can say is that amplitude square equals to amplitude not square cos square theta which could further be written as intensity is equals to intensity not square cos sorry intensity not cos square theta which is our Malazar's law where i not is the incident intensity and i is the transmitted intensity let's see a graph for the expression i is equal to i not cos square theta you can observe from this theta that when theta is zero whole of the wave would pass and that would be maximum intensity so at zero degrees the maximum intensity <coughs> of the wave passes similarly when theta becomes 180 degree again maximum intensity passes so this is also 180 when theta is 90 the whole wave is blocked so the intensity becomes zero uh, 90 degrees <coughs> intensity becomes zero and the angle is 90 degrees similarly when this wave is 270 degrees it again blocks so this angle would also be 270 degrees so this is a graphical interpretation of the expression now let's see a question for this topic so the question is <coughs> that we have three filters one filter is a vertical polarized filter the second one is 45 degrees to the vertical and the third filter is a horizontal filter we have light of intensity i not the question is to find the light after it passes through the third filter if so we need to find the person uh, if the final intensity after passing through filter number three and part two says to find the percentage reduction so let's start with the filter number one so i the outcoming intensity would be i naught cos square theta the wave is already vertically polarized so the angle would be zero so that would become cos square zero that will become i equals i naught so that means that this outcoming intensity is also i naught so the incoming to filter number two is also i naught as the wave also over here is vertically polarized and this is 45 degrees so the angle between them theta would also be 45 so our intensity over here the outcoming intensity would be i equals i naught over 2 so our outcoming intensity over here would be i naught over 2 the wave in this case is polarized in this direction so the theta would be in this direction and the horizontal direction so that would again become 45 degrees for filter number 3 the theta we would consider is 45 degrees that's our expression i is equals to i naught over 2 cos square 45 and our final if is i naught over 4 and our percentage reduction is i naught minus i naught by 4 divided by i naught into 100 so this would give us 75 degrees percentage reduction so that's it. Do like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.